Okay. Um. Guess what? We're going back to Mr. Ricky's house in Manassas because I keep bringing stuff on my truck and he helps me fix stuff. So today we're gonna be doing, I finally have my permanent plates for the truck. Texas finally sent me out my plates, and so we're gonna switch over from the temp plates. I already ripped off a mirror, put that on, and then also there is some body work because I've actually kind of already scratched up this truck. So we're gonna fix that and see what we can do to make it pretty, but we've got about an hour drive because we're in DC. We've gotta go all the way out to Manassas. So let's get on the road, yay. Alrighty, Mr. Ricky, do you want to give the rundown of what we're up to today? Well, due to unforeseen circumstances on the trail, we have lost visual contact here. So on the right side. We are upgrading slash replacing to a brand new OEM mirror. Whoa. And unfortunately, due to the nature of how it broke. And the trail have, fix and repair that did happen. We have to fully remove this brand new 2021 door panel. Yay. Which honestly, thank you Toyota, is not that hard. It actually screw hasn't been here, that bad. One screw here, this pops off, this pops off. Now we're ready to take this whole framework off. Give it a good tug. Sounds worse than this. Yep. Yeah, you got one, your cables yeah, here. Yeah, that's fine. I don't care about that because here's the factory harness disconnection. Yay! So this is where we clipped it on the trail, and now you have a hole. So they put these little catchy condom covers over. Oh, okay. To prevent moisture and air. And you know, nature of 40 degree weather today. They're a bit stiff. And while he's wrapping up that, I finally got my permanent plates from Texas. So I removed the little Bill Page Toyota and just got a black trim that I've had for a really long time and finally got to put it to good use. Cool, so this little gasket piece that goes on the door. It sandwiches the mirror to the door seal. Yep, which is right here is built into the new OEM mirror piece. And so then the cable just goes through. Because we were very confused how we're supposed to get a cable through this tiny little hole. Then the studs line up. <laughs> it's so pretty. Except for that, we gotta fix that. So we're fastened down here. Yep, so those three studs. Our new harness is installed into the factory harness. Which this was the whole reason we had to remove the door panel is because, because this is the heated with the sequential and the- Blind yeah, spot. Yeah, blind spot. It The plug is here versus I think it's actually Usually actual Usually it's tucked door. into the harness. At yep. least on first gens, it's yeah. tucked in right here and you don't have to remove the whole panel. So now we're ready to rehang the door panel. And on the first gen, you usually are going over the, the lock here on the corner yeah. and that helps you line everything up. So we are fastened there. Sweet. We take this big screw here. That goes in this little cubby hole. And then oh, we throw it down the door. Pull it apart one more time, why not? Ta-da! Ta -da. So then we got this little here. screw that's tucked behind the door handle. Yeah, which is almost like the first gen with the little um, screw in the door handle. Oh yeah. We got our little push pin. Yeah, there's one in the corner there just to help get it tight. Then we got these little fellers right here. Thankfully the cable is sealed. Yep. So then this little piece here. Oh, I didn't even notice that. This goes in like so. Gentle, it is little plastic. Yep, oh, that looks great. In. We have our control panels yep. here. Power we have locks, two connections. Power windows. First one is right here. By the way, to note, on 2021s, this connector is different than at least a 2018 video we watched from Taco Tunes. It's just a simple push release, so making things a little easier in some ways. And then this has two alignment tabs, one here, one here. Sure. And then push, push. Oh, it's super easy. And then the last piece is this. The interior corner push. trim. When you pull this out, be careful because these little tabs stay the white piece stays in the door according to taco tunes if you pull them out now and put them in it's a lot easier it just helps that uh, you can't knock them in and lose them yeah. all three are aligned and we're done minus putting the yep. cover on. so thankfully when the incident occurred the cover did not get damaged it just kind of fell off and in, in the way that the plastic bend did um, or got bent but these all the clips are good Everything is fine, so we can salvage it and save the $40 to buy the OEM uh, pre color match. Pre paint, yeah. And these just kind of fit on the way. Uh, oh, there you go. That. Uh, the swivel on right to left? Yeah, because there's a, there's a catch right here. Okay. So it looks like it would go in here first. Oh, that sounded good. Oh, yeah. And we are fully fastened. The mirror is tight. Yep. 
So it folds, does all its things, and then we'll double check to make sure that the uh, adjustable is all good and all that. But hey, it's back to looking like a normal truck. 10 truck. mil, a Phillips, and a small flathead. Easy day. We yep. got a panel tool. Let's yep. not forget the panel tool. So. Yeah. All right, can you tell us a little bit about project number two? Project number two. Due to this aftermarket bumper, they don't have a light solution using OEM, so we use what's called a bolt light, which goes through here. However, the downfall of it is it doesn't have OEM style connectors on it. So we picked up weather seal connectors, male and female, you make yourself to allow this harness to be unplugged. So you get male pins, female pins, weather seals, lock retainers and the receptacles in which the harness so this will allow him to unplug his tag lights shall he need to remove his bumper and then click it back together and be done and it will retain a weather tight seal yes and then definitely one of the parts is that currently they don't have a great connection so they're sometimes flickering so we're hoping that this is going to give them a better more solid connection away from the elements and it'll work better oh yeah that does look very very thin certainly thin we're running into is that the bolt lights are cheap Chinese and that so we're kind of at the point where it's probably we think it's just some cheap crap is it what like eBay they worked great for a little bit and then one day I noticed when I was backing up because my backup camera is blocked still but I did notice I can see these and they were flickering and so that's when I noticed we're trying to see there's a couple shops around us if we can pick something up locally and try and fix it today Yep. So now we just have to remove the ones that are in there. Yep. Slide these in. All right, so tell us a little bit about what you did to our... So out of the box, these have no protecting right. sheathing on them. Mm -hmm. So we put some uh, eighth inch round mesh on it, some heat shrink just to protect it, give it a little style and flare. And then when we put on the weather seal connectors, it'll just, it'll look a little more cleaner, a little more factory instead of some... Auto zone lights. Auto zone lights, yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's see what we can make happen Sweet. with this. to see but they are on beautiful wiring and they're the mesh cover just to help protect it super super clean what things we're doing today is removing the old virginia safety inspection sticker all right completely switching gears of what we're doing here the truck for right now is done for the day we wanted to get to a few more things but just time constraints and so we wanted to hit one of his projects real quick and so on his first gen his third brake light he put security screws in but they're a little bit too long so his cover didn't fully sit um i think he put them in when he put in those leds so we are currently trimming down the original screws so then we can get this nice and flush they're they're a little bit longer than factory so just projects and projects check out this super clean interior and and carbon fiber dash. My goodness. Oh, it makes me miss my first gen. Manual too. Sweet, it's been shortened. Now the brake light will not move. Nice and snug, no more elements getting inside. Glad I can help you spend your money. Bye! Bye! Alrighty guys, that's a wrap. Shorter video today, but I just wanted to take you along as always. I love doing anything with Ricky. Uh, such a great guy and able to help me out with um, all this stuff. So that's about it. If you want merch and you want any Cherry Bomb merch, I have it under here, but it's too chilly. Um, go link in the description. Go check out the store. Watch some other videos. I just finished up. By the time you're seeing this, the AOWA vlog has finished up and I'm putting a lot of work to it right now, so hopefully it turns out good. But I love you. God bless. We'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye. Sounds worse than this. Yep.